you feeling? Pretty good. Honestly, a little nervous. I feel like there's a lot riding on this. And I hope I can manage to uh, keep it efficient. This morning, I'm at General Motors Proving Ground, and we're gonna try and set a world record. The current world record is 749 miles on a full charge. We're gonna try and beat that. We're gonna take a Chevy Silverado EV, and we're gonna drive it as far as we can to see if we can beat that 749 mile number. This is the kind of really ambitious, really competitive thing that I love to see. Because when you give an engineer a project like this and you give them a target to aim for, it makes the most beautiful things happen. When did you folks first start talking about trying to break this record? So last fall, you know, we announced our mile year 26, 493 mile range mm -hmm. for EPA. And of course the team that I work with knows very well that we have the ability to exceed that significantly. We did this on the Bolt EV previously. Mm -hmm. We started talking about what the number actually could be and everyone got super excited about it because we nice. thought we could beat it. Is this our test truck? That's our test truck and that's there the team right is. there. Yeah. Thinking it's a beautiful day to break a record. So this is a work truck. It's kind of the base model. So it has the black grill, the blacked out bumpers. It's got different wheels and tires, sort of a more utilitarian interior. But that's the one that gets 493 miles on a charge according to the EPA. And so that's the one that we're gonna try and drive more than 749 miles. 820, I don't know. Not gonna jinx us. <laughs> I think we'll do well though. Same, I will do well. I'm not gonna jinx Eddie there. <laughs> Eight, 820 is a good answer. Let's go 850. 890. 875. 950. I'll shoot for 900. Nine o'clock on a Monday morning, we are at Milford Proving Grounds. They have just unplugged the Silverado EV from the charger, and uh, they are about to begin driving to attempt to break the range record on a full charge. So this is the first leg of the first drive of this uh, record attempt. How are you feeling? No pressure. Yeah, none at all, right? None, yeah. Just the first guy out. Yeah, excited though. I think it's gonna be real good. Well, best of luck. Thank you. Make us proud. All right, we'll do. kind of the most anticlimactic start. Yeah. This test is gonna take a while, right? We're looking at doing five to six days of testing. Mm -hmm. And so we, we have schedules for all the drivers and actually John is the one that organized a lot of those scheduling and, mm -hmm. and the team as well. So you've got a lot of people driving this truck. Is it possible that I could hop in and drive a stint? I think we could probably make that work. All right. How comfortable yes. you feel about doing it? Do you think you can be efficient for us? I'm ready to be the most efficient driver you've ever met. Oh, really? But you're going to need to teach me how to do that. So I've been told in order for me to drive on this attempt, I need to learn how to hypermile. We want all of the energy in the battery. We're gonna fill it all the way up to the very tip top. Around 20 to 25 miles an hour is kind of in that sweet spot. The most efficient way to drive as you're hypermiling is to try and reduce the amount of hard accelerations and heart braking. I know you haven't made any major changes to the vehicle, but there are some adjustments that you've made to maximize the efficiency. We talked about wipers. They're adjusted down a little bit to give us better aero. It is, it is summertime. I'm pointing this out. So how far can you put the window down? Two inches. You have it, you have it that specific? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> you guys measured everything. We're engineers. <laughs> What did you expect? What are my top three driving do's? Like Charlie said, drive like there's an egg on the gas pedal. Okay. Look ahead. Only use the brake if you absolutely have to. Absolutely do not do under any circumstances. So don't drive like you did in the ZR1 video. Got That's it. A don't, don't floor it. <laughs> don't turn on the air conditioning. The windows uh, as close as possible. Well, I think I'm capable of this. I, I hope that I'm not the one who messes up the average for everybody. But I think with my do's and don'ts, I think I've got a pretty good grasp on it. I gotta be honest, I'm a little nervous, but uh, I'm, I'm gonna try my best not to let you folks down and not to let General Motors down. So what we're gonna do next is John's gonna hop in the truck with me and he's gonna practice drive with me so he can teach me the ways of the hypermiler. I'm an egg on an accelerator pedal. I don't wanna be crushed. I don't wanna be cracked. 
I just want to crack 749 miles. So you're going to take first stint, you're going to show me the ropes. Yep. Yeah, so... And then you're just going to throw me in the deep end, huh? I mean, pretty much, yeah. It won't be that hard. You'll be okay. We're going to be watching this screen. Okay. Uh, this is basically telling us we're starting a fresh trip, so zero miles. Um, this is right the defaults, 2.2 uh, miles per kilo hour. This is the number we keep talking about okay. today. So we've had people hit 4.7, mm -hmm. and we had people as low as 3.5 today. So that's about where you're talking about. All right. There you go. I'm ready. All right. So like right now, as we see the stop sign coming up, I'm going to try not to just hit the brake. I'm just going to try to coast down to a stop here. So we're driving on the same route that I'm going to be driving once John and I switch. So I'm paying a lot of attention to the terrain, the hills, where John's accelerating, where he's slowing down, because I want to get as much data as I can to make sure that I do a really good job on this and I don't screw it up for everybody else. Three point. Okay. What do you think? I think I can handle it. Okay. But you're going to have to navigate me. Yep. So. At the end of each run, we take a picture of this and we post it on the Slack channel so we can accurately judge our competition. All right. I'll very shamefully post my low number. <laughs> ready? I'm ready, man. All right. Everybody ready? Yep. Let's do this thing. Now, hold on a second, Bob, before you go. <laughs> Is that something a little fishy over there? Oh, we got to keep it precise. I think you need to go up about a quarter inch. Oh, my God. Okay, get right, me on nice. every little thing. Perfect. There right. we go. All right, now, now we can go. I'm glad that I'm running legal. Of course, I'm like, how am I doing already? I've, I've driven 10 feet and I'm like, what's my efficiency? This is the highest heart rate I've ever had at 17 miles an hour. <laughs> how bad would it be if I just floored it for like one second? How, how badly do you think that would mess us up? I mean, it would mess up your trip pretty bad. I don't know. <laughs> we probably wouldn't fail the whole thing, but, you know. The intrusive would... thoughts are starting to talk <laughs> to me. <laughs> Time. All right. Whew. That was taxing. I might, my heart rate is actually up. <laughs> The heat, the heat probably doesn't help. I mean, that was, like I'm saying, that was the most nerve-wracking 16 miles an yeah. hour I've ever done. All right, so so. I, I, we're, we're seeing 3.2 on the dash. So what we found out when we finished my drive, we actually didn't drive far enough for this to be fully accurate for our drive, but we can go into here and we can see exactly how much energy we used in the distance we drove. So mine uh, was 3.86 mm -hmm. is the actual calculation. Yours is 4.125. What? Yep. Oh my God, I smoked you. I don't know about smoke. I, you did no, a little bit better. I blew the doors also, off of you. I you went on the right route because I helped you. Hey, listen, this was a team effort. Yeah, you sure. taught You yeah. taught me how to make that happen. <laughs> I'm not jealous of you folks that have to keep doing this over and over and over for the rest of the week. <laughs> That's where the team of 30 comes in. Yeah, that's why we asked so many people to help out. Now I can see why you've got subs and subs and subs. It was fun though. It, it was an interesting challenge and like cool to be a part of uh, what will hopefully be a uh, record breaking attempt. When we were talking on Monday, we were pretty nervous about hitting 750, um, but we had a lot of people hitting really good numbers over the last week, so a thousand miles we could potentially hit now. We're just over 30% SOC. Uh, we've gone 720 miles about as of now. We got 30% left, so at the mercy of nature right now, of keeping the weather nice enough for us to get good efficiency and Hopefully not too much traffic here. All those sorts of things can screw it up when you're that close, you know? 739. Okay. And the key's off to the ringer. 739. That's like, that's like two, two laps, laps, sir. So that's like two laps. Right exactly two laps. Yeah. Big moment. Yeah. Ooh, 739 on the dot. You can be the one. So no one to break the record. All right, are we ready? Ready. All right. We just knew in the best of all scenarios it's possible, but now it's we're actually within reach. So. so anything above 
above 749, so that counts. Yep, Woo-hoo. that counts. All right. We have officially passed the record. Are you there? 750.1. All right. On the dot. How'd you do? What's your efficiency? 4.8. We only did two laps, so yeah. probably a little better than that. Yeah, we can, we can do the, the math and the see. All right. Let's see. Nice. I want to know how you guys feel. Uh, excited. Super excited. I mean, we just passed a r- record, right? We have a lot more driving to do. How much SOC do you have left? 28%. Yeah, so we still got 28%. We got a lot of driving to do, so. Yeah, we got a long way to go to, to now we're on to a thousand. So, I went home for a week, but the team kept on driving. Yesterday, they got past 750 miles, but they still had energy in that battery. So, the next goal, they think they can reach a thousand miles in this truck. So, they're driving it around today, and we're gonna see if we can hit a thousand miles, which would be an outrageous achievement for an EV. Let's make some history. All right, we ready? I'm ready. All right, we're in the final three tenths of a mile, two tenths of a mile. Are we gonna hit a thousand miles with the Ren sign in the background? That's pretty cool, camera How guy. How magical! Oh, there it is. There it is. A thousand miles. Nice. In an EV. Oh, what a moment. That's pretty cool. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. You contributed. You're you're part of a world record right now. That feels good. Go. That's pretty cool. That feels good. Well, this is absolutely a team effort. Yes. And there were dozens of people involved, not only in the achievement of this record, but in the design and engineering of this vehicle, which made this record possible. Absolutely. And you know, this is not just this is not just our victory here in the car. This is a victory for everyone who worked on the Silverado EV. All right, folks, we took this EV well over a thousand miles on a single charge, and I'm really excited that we got to share this amazing story with you. So, thanks for coming along for the ride, and uh, we'll see you next time on the GM YouTube channel with me, Bob. Out of energy, charge vehicle now. Yeah, we can get even in this little parking lot. Look at that. Perfect. Oh, I love it.